because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. <laughs> Razaban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast with me, uh, the main man, Clifton Mitchell. Cliff, how are you, mate? How's your night? Oh, very, very eventful, I would say. Um, yeah, listen, sometimes you have to work for your money, and tonight we had to work for our money, put it that way. I'm guessing when you've got stadium shows like this, yeah. and you've got so many different access points and areas, it's, it's even tougher. And you've got different supporters from different teams, and you've got a lot of um, local rivalries and that. So it does make it a lot more difficult than normal arena shows, you know? We just saw, um, you know, a lot of people didn't think that Chris Billingsmith could pull it, pull it tonight. He did, and he did it convincingly. He did it convincingly because I feel that, no disrespect to Lawrence, but he does that same thing a lot of the time regarding as soon as he gets a bit close for him, he starts to hold. He did it when he boxed um, Atkins. Was it, was it, wasn't it? Matty Atkins, and he did it when he boxed... Um, Chamberlain, yeah. So he's got that. He's got that in his system. So as soon as he feels a little bit of pressure, he starts to hold and hold. He does it all the time. It's it's something that he does all the time. So he's very lucky not to Marcus McDonald not to um, disqualify him. To be fair, I spoke to Marcus McDonald after, and he said to me off camera, "I was very, very close to disqualifying him." Well, Would you have been shocked if that happened? No, I, I thought he, I thought he was going to get disqualified because listen, I'm sitting ringside. I'm sitting on one of the. Um, one of the steps, so I'm probably one of the fourth closest people to the ring, and um, you got the referee in two fighters than me, and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, well, he's going to get, he's gonna, is either going to get knocked out, no, he's going to get disqualified before he gets knocked out. But you know what? He got caught. I don't know about the second knockdowns, but one knockdown was a was a yeah, but maybe fell forward on a couple of them. He got clipped and fell forward, so I don't think he was ever really really hurt. He did try very, very hard, but you know this night was all about Billum Smith because he got hit with some bombs and walked through. So you got to give him a whole heap of respect. You know? Lawrence was out the the ring for a year before he got to fight yeah. David Light. He's literally done back to back camps. Nine weeks was a different. Do you think that might have played a part for T? He said to me there wasn't. He goes, I felt no. good. No, 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 no. I just feel that. These two fighters knew each other that well, sparred that many rounds with each other. Uh, they knew there was it was no surprise for him, was there? There's no surprise, and you can't say you've worked with um, Sugar and say that you've. Um, I don't think he's improved. I really, I'm just telling you how it is. I don't think he's improved. I don't think is Sugar the right trainer for him or. Can anybody improve him? Because I feel he's just got that trait in him where he's going to hold. He's going to hold it, and he does it, and he's done it from day one. So he's not going to change anything, is he? He's not going to change, and he's going to do the same thing again. Box him again, he'll do exactly the same thing. And I think it's going to be the same result next time he boxes him again. If he, box, if he um, what's the word? Reacts the, um, or takes the, the rematch, yeah? If he takes the rematch, then he's going to... Um, I think the same result again, I really do. I don't think there's any difference. He took me every shot in the book and didn't budge him. So I really feel that that was the best he could have done because he tried, he really did try to put it on him. But he's just got this thing where he likes to hold and it's something that nobody's going to take out of him. It's in his system. Uh, he just said to me, I just interviewed Lawrence and he said that in the rematch, I'm just going to have to let my hands go early. I don't let him... I don't let my hands go early enough. I don't normally leave them. I don't want to gas out, etc., or lose too much energy. But he goes, I need to let my hands go early. He's very respectful to obviously Chris's win, but he feels like he can avenge it. I don't. That's just my opinion. I hope he can. Or, listen, every, a champion, listen, he's a champion and uh, he's got a rematch clause, so, you know, he's got opportunity to avenge it. Will he, will he or won't he? Uh, me, personally, I don't think he can change. I think he's hitting with every shot in the book and didn't budge him. So what's he going to do differently? He's still going to hold. He's still going to press him on the ropes. I don't know. This is what I'm trying to say to you. He said he needs to let his hands go. He needs to stop holding. He didn't even have a jab. 
Understand? He didn't even have a jab. He you just did the same shot, jab to the body, right hook to the body, right into the head. He didn't change. He did exactly the same in his last shot, so in his last fight. So for me, I'm just saying I'm just saying how I see it. Both fights and he hasn't changed. So he needs to do something completely different to it. He needs a jab. Big long arms like that. I didn't even work his jab. He left, he just poured it out there, leave that and poured it and poured it and didn't really do nothing. And Shane knew remember Shane, Shane knew what to do with him. That was the key. Shane says, you spot him, spot him, spot him. I know what to do. Understand? Okay, Cliff, thank you. Give me a little bit of time to press about to start for a bit of stuff yeah, to yeah. cut this, but yeah, we'll no catch problem. up with yeah. you back at the hotel. Okay, up the rams. Cliff to Mitchell IFL TV, thank you very Jeez. much. Bye. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never, never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 